Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So we have our mastery check now for understanding the place value system and that's standard MBT.1. If you need a little more help or instruction with this standard or concept, I put the link to my part one and part two for the instructional videos below and then you can come back to this mastery check. Alright, so you should have a pencil and something to write with and we are going to do five, as you can see on the left we have five numbers and then we have some fill in the blanks to the right. So for our mastery checks, remember I'll tell you to press pause here in a second, you press pause, do numbers one through five and then check your answers with mine. Um, so this one's gonna be a little bit different here. You have two options. If you know this really well, you can press pause right now. Wait one second though. Or if you still need a little more help, I'm gonna draw the arrows and you can work with me um, through these because the wording to this type of question is a little more difficult so you can just work with me through this one if you'd like. So if you're very confident go ahead and press pause right now. Alright welcome back if you did those five on your own and if you're working with me here we go or checking your answers right now here we go. So number one the five in the tens place is blank the value of the five in the ones place. So we are making a jump to the left. So how much does our value, how much does the value of the five change? One jump to the left, our value increases by 10 times. Number two, the nine in the hundred thousands place is blank the value of the nine in the thousands place. So we're going from the thousands to the hundred thousands. So two jumps to the left. So times 10 times 10. So what do you think? If you said 100 times, let's read our sentence back and double check. The nine in the hundred thousands place is 100 times the value of the nine in the thousands place. That is true. Number three, the four in the ten thousands place is blank the value of the four in the tens place. So we're going from the four in the tens, one, two, three jumps to the left. So 10 times 10 times 10. So that should be 1,000. Now let's read our sentence back. The four in the ten thousands place is 1,000 times the value of the four in the tens place. That is true. All right, let's check four because the wording is tough with these. You always have to read it back. We're actually going to decrease in value with numbers four and five. So the nine in the ones place is blank the value of the five or of the nine in the tens place. So we're comparing the ones to the tens. So we're actually gonna make a jump to the right, which is taking one tenth the value. So your answer for number four, let's read it back. The nine in the ones place is one tenth the value of the nine in the tens place. True. Let's try number five. The seven in the ones place is blank the value of the seven in the thousands place. So we're going from thousands to ones place. So three jumps to the right. So one tenth times one tenth times one tenth which is going to be one thousandth the value. All right, that's it for the mastery check for understanding the place value system. These are difficult questions. The wording can be tricky, so you always have to read them back to yourself, and you will get way better at these the more you practice them. So hopefully in class, um, 
you get more practice or maybe this might be a review for you so you have it down but keep at it if you still don't have it down you'll get there with practice thanks for watching please hit that subscribe button and drop a comment if there's any material you'd like me to cover